we're here in the HP booth with Ben Wolf, the creative segment market manager for HP. And uh, he's got a new printer to show us. It's the new Z series. What can you tell us about this, Ben? Well, the Z3200 is the uh, newest iteration in our photo printer lineup, our professional photo printer lineup. And uh, the most substantial difference that we uh, we engineered into this is we built a brand new red ink into it called the Chromatic Red, the HP number 73 Chromatic Red Ink. Not much to see from just looking at the cartridge over here, but it's installed right here, and it allows for a much larger gamut and on a, uh, a much broader variety of media so that you're going to get a much more robust colors, uh, particularly in the reds, obviously. Great, and uh, you've made some other engineering changes to the printer as well. Most of them are under the hood, so uh, you know when you look underneath, we've changed some of the compounds for the pinch rollers, for example, so that you can use thicker, more robust uh, fine art medias, for example. Uh, we've now got a star wheel bale that is uh, adjustable in uh, two different positions, which allows for it to again um, work with glossy photo papers and, and is particularly in a large area fills. Uh, we've got a lot of software and firmware updates that we've made to it, which just overall make it a much more uh, robust and more enhanced product. Uh, some of which include things like uh, the ability now to export the spectral data into a, another um, program, so you can you can do your own custom profiling in, say, uh, Profiler or, or Profile Maker. Uh, you know, just uh, too, too many too many things to mention. <laughs> too many things. When we were talking before, you mentioned the ability to uh, kind of tweak the profiles manually more than you had been able to. Yeah, one of the things that um, we did have in the previous generation is uh, what we call paper presets. And paper presets basically set the, uh, the settings for how much ink is going to go down, which type of black ink to use, the photo or your matte black, uh, how much of the gloss enhancer. And all of those things now are um, controllable by the user. So if you want to go ahead and set up your own custom paper for uh, something new that you want to try out, you can adjust much more. Those parameters previously were fixed in the 3100 and now there's a lot more uh, adjustments that can be made to really fine tune that particular paper type which enhances the ability of the printer to print on just about everything. So and That was really the hallmark of the Z series when it first came out with the built-in spectrophotometer. You can build your own profiles. You're not locked into one person's paper. You can put anything you want into it. And this is now just broadening that further. Exactly. So we kept the spectrophotometer. We've still got the same easy calibration and profiling. Uh, what we've done is basically just that chemistry interaction that's happening between the paper and the ink. We've allowed uh, customers to be able to tinker with it a little bit more to get that fine tuning exactly the way they want it. Right, and um, so this is replacing the 3100. When's this coming out, and what's the price like on it? So it was announced today here at Photokina, September 23rd. It'll be available in the U.S. October 1st, and uh, starts at 33.95 for the 24-inch model. Great, 33.95 October 1st, the HP Z3200.